Chapter 6 Friends Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From that planet, another luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one luma broke the silence. My mama! At once, the apricot luma parroted back. My mama! The two lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh, and that's when something very strange happened. Suddenly, more lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were all different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama! 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 The sight of all the shouting lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the lumas into the new house. Chapter 7 The Telescope After seeing their 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope, and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up to that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill, on bright and windy days, and... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears, and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky. Because... Because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill! The girl's cries echoed through the stars, and a hush fell over the area. Chapter 8 The Wish Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew closer and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama, because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me. I love star bits because they remind me of my mama. No. No. The girl said, unable to stop the tears. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. I will transform into a comet. A soaring comet that can carry you all on this journey. With that, Luma, trailing bands of white, soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook, and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail, and then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. But... how? She kept asking. Our destinies as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma, who had suddenly appeared. Stars? Comets? Planets? We can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? 
All the Lumas together said, No more crying, Mama! No more crying, Mama! No more crying, no Mama! More crying, Mama. No, more no more crying, Mama! No more crying, Mama! Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth from the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final Chapter Family with its many lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, All right, everyone, let's make a cake. A cake sprinkled with star bits. Then it will be a star cake. The lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. As she watched the lumas scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself, this is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every hundred years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the Lumas and the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in tow than can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every hundred years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. The End